Hi, Stage 3. Welcome to Drama for Week 5. So our learning intention is the same as it has been for the last few weeks. We are learning to respond critically to a range of drama works and performance styles. To be successful, we need to be able to reflect on drama traditions and early films. And we've been doing that by looking at silent movies and different techniques that they've used, particularly uh, about a hundred years ago, looking at filming techniques that they used, uh, the sort of cameras that they used, the different types of uh, pans that they would use in order to film people and make their movies. Um, we'll be successful when we can recognise personal, social and cultural aspects in drama, when we can form and communicate an opinion about a range of drama created by others, and we'll really be focusing on that today. And the other um, part of the success criteria we're really focusing on today is that we need to be able to evaluate a drama performance in order to reflect on and begin to develop our own drama. So we've already developed our own drama, but we're really going to think about and reflect on our own drama and the work of others today and think about how we can make it better, how we can make it more enjoyable, um, and then also thinking about some things that people have done really, really well, things that we've done really well. Um, yeah. So, so far this term, we've learnt that a silent movie is a movie that's silent with no sound. We know that a silent movie was really popular about 100 years ago because they just didn't have the technology we do today to be able to have a movie with sound. We know that the actors had to be very dramatic and often they used melodrama in their performances to convey the story to the audience. They also used title screens that were like subtitles that would pop up in between different snippets of video footage and that was used as speech often to convey the message that couldn't be conveyed through the acting. And then often they had a piano player or an orchestra that was actually playing live in the cinema to provide some backing music for the film. And I know that often music can uh, create a lot of the emotion in a movie as well. So it's really critical that that music is played. It can help create the emotion and the suspense uh, and also the drama for the movie. You also have had the opportunity to plan, script, film, and then edit your own silent movie. And you've all done such a fantastic job at that. Some of them are absolutely hilarious. I've had a very good laugh at them. And so have a lot of your teachers, which is fantastic. Um, I particularly have enjoyed those, those videos where people, you can really tell that they've really thought about uh, how they can really use humour or classic sets, um, slapstick in their movies or in their film to make it as enjoyable for the audience as they can. Um, some, some of you have really struggled to um, add in the, the title cards and the soundtrack, but you persevered and you had a go and that's what this is all about. It's about experimenting and it's about having fun. So above all, I really hope that you had fun making your silent movie and learning some new some new skills. It's not often that we have an opportunity to uh, fiddle with this sort of software, all this sort of technology and these apps that help us create and edit our own silent movies. So today, this week, we're going to reflect on our own silent movie. I really want you to think about what you did well. What, what are some things that you did well when you were doing this? Now think about the circumstances of our learning at the moment. We're all learning from home or most of us are learning from home. We're being really independent learners. So I really want you to think about what you did well. It might just be that I had to go by myself and that is perfectly fine. It might be that you were finding it really, really hard to use iMovie or to use some other software that you might have been using to edit your movie, but you persevered and you didn't give up and you learned something new. So they are all really, really critical things in this learning journey. I know that they're not specifically related to drama, but they're all part of helping you as a student, as a human, as a person to develop different skills. Then I also want you to think about what you can improve on. So maybe you rushed what you were doing. Maybe you didn't plan it and you've gone back and you've watched some of the other videos and you've gone, oh, that was a really great idea. I really wish I spent more time planning and, and thinking about how I could create the best silent movie or how could I get the best idea. And maybe you needed to do more research about what slapstick actually was and who was Charlie Chaplin and what sort of um, comedy acts did he do. 
After you've reflected on your own silent movie, you're going to go and review and give feedback to three of your peers about their silent movies. So you'll need to go to the folder and you'll need to review some of your classmates' work as well. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to think about what you did well. This is your time to reflect on your silent movie. List three things you did well. Some things to think about could include doing further research for my silent movie. So you actually did the research. I did extra research and I was able to do this. Or I used editing software efficiently. Maybe you included um, melodrama to make your silent movie more dramatic. Or maybe you included some classic steps, slapstick to make your silent movie more enjoyable for your audience. These are all examples of things that you might have done well. You might be thinking, no, I, I planned it really well or I edited it really well or I, I really thought about what sort of soundtrack or backing track or music I wanted to go with my silent movie and I, I made that a priority for me and it really helped create the drama and the suspense for my silent movie. Once you've thought about your three things, I'd like you to list them here. You can write them in dot points, full sentences, whatever is going to be the easiest for you. I then want you to think about what you could have done better. So after watching some of your silence, your peers' silent movies, you can think of three things. You don't have to go and watch um, your peers' silent movies before you answer this point, but it might be good to watch them so then you can think, oh, I could have used that in mine, or oh, maybe I should have done it this way. So you don't have to do that, but it's a good idea just to have something to compare it to. But I want you to think about three things that you could improve on. Did you do enough planning? Do you include, did you include any melodrama or slapstick? Did you use filming techniques from 100 years ago? So remember we were supposed to be making a movie that looks like it was made 100 years ago. So maybe you were moving the camera around a lot. Remember their cameras were really heavy and they couldn't just pick them up and move them wherever they wanted to. So maybe you need to think about how you might have used your filming technique a bit differently. Um, did you add a soundtrack? I know some people have found it really tricky. So maybe you need to write, I need to add a soundtrack next time to help add that drama. Um, and then maybe you needed to spend more time editing your film or adding in those title cards to make your silent movie more enjoyable for your audience so that they could actually understand what was happening a bit better. Once you've come up with your three ideas, I'd like you to type your answer in that box. Then you need to go and do some peer reviewing. So if you haven't already done so, it's now your chance to watch some of your classmates' silent movies. You can watch as many as you like, but you will need to provide constructive. Now remember, constructive feedback means that it's useful to them. It's not just I liked it. It's I liked it because or I think you should do it this way because. So it's really thinking about how can we give meaningful feedback that they will find useful. So I want you to provide constructive feedback for three silent movies of your choice. Click this link here and that will take you to the folder with the silent movies in it. Then you need to fill out this table for three, there needs to be a one here, so I'll pop that in, for three of the silent movies for your peers. So first thing, first thing is you need to choose a silent movie to review and then type your answers down here. Whose silent movie are you reviewing? You would type in their name if you're typing if you're doing John Smith's silent movie, you would type in John Smith. Then in your opinion, what was the plot or storyline of their silent movie? So you need to think about what's actually happening in the story and, and what is the message or the story that you're getting out of it. It could be something completely different to what they were trying to convey. So I want you to write that in there. Then in your opinion, what are three things they did really well? So essentially three stars. What are three stars or three things they did really well that you could tell them? So you can use those dot points there. Then in your opinion, what is one thing they, they could do better or improve on? So thinking about something that they could maybe change about their silent movie to make it more enjoyable. And then finally, I'd like you to think about, in your opinion, how many stars would you give them out of five? So here it says question mark five. Maybe you're going to give them five out of five. But if it's five out of five, you really better, better think about what was so fantastic and why are you giving them five out of five. So five out of five because blah, 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 blah. So that would be peer review one. Then you need to do peer review two and peer review three. 
Now, before you finish, I want you to double check that you have really done the following. So check that you thought about what you have done really well, that you've thought about how you could have improved your silent movie, that you've then reviewed at least three of your classmates' silent movies. And then I want you to watch some of the other videos. Now, I don't really care what order you do this in, but it's really important that you do watch some of the other videos for a laugh because you've all taken the time to make this, these movies and it's important that we can all appreciate them. And some of them are really, really, really good, actually. Most of them are fantastic. So go back and have a look. Then once you've completed the above four tasks, please hand in your work so I can see the great work that you've done. Okay, and then we'll see you next week. Have fun.